Well, so um, the designers, of course, did all the design. Actually, one of the leading design firms in the UK, Priestman and Good, um, did the design for the, the passenger port. Kaburis, who is uh, a tier two manufacturer for Boeing and Airbus, so they're doing normally airplanes, mm -hmm. are manufacturing the, the capsule um, using uh, a new technology that we developed. We call it vibranium. Mm -hmm. It's a new composite material. It's a smart composite material. And um, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, it should be ready by mid-year. Mid it's basically, you have to imagine it's like building an airplane, literally. Yeah. So it takes a year to... What does it look like? Just give us a bit, a bit of a description. Well, it would be probably easier to show you a picture. We will have, uh, we, we, we will have uh, an announcement actually very soon where we show mm. the design and the design process. Can, can you give us some sneak peeks? What are we likely to expect uh, <laughs> it to look like? Some of the, some of the features. I mean, we've spoken before and you said, look, hey, you know, there, there's so much potential with the capsules. You could do things with the windows. You can do things with screens and, and all sorts of things. So, so what are some of the kind of key features you're quite excited about? Yeah, so the passenger experience is, of, of course, a completely second step. Mm -hmm. um, here we're talking about the technology of the capsule itself. Yeah. So moving passenger in a safe manner uh, inside a vacuum, basically. Right. So safety is one of the most, uh, the biggest aspects, aerodynamics, of course, even so you don't have a lot of air left, mm -hmm. there's still some. Um, the ratio between the capsule and uh, the tube is very important, so the contravitz limit. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, integrating all the subsystems, so um, life support, the levitation, propulsion system, everything needs to be fit in. So just to make it clear, this is not some kind of you know, test pot. So this is the first pot that you know you and me are going to be riding in a little bit. Right. So, and once that is hopefully completed by mid-year, um, what is the next stage after that you're you're aiming for? So it then goes to Toulouse, and Toulouse, um, the government, the French government, gave us uh, a three thousand square meter building and an outside area. We are now starting to build our R and D center. Mm -hmm. um, so as I mentioned earlier, the technology for the system already exists, so we know how to build version number one. Right. That's what we were concentrating on for the last four years. Yeah. Um, but of course, in the meantime, we have been looking into better solutions as well to build the system more efficient, um, more cost efficient as well. So, and of course, there's a lot of new technologies coming out every single day, but with the first version, you really want to make completely sure those are technologies that have been around for quite some time. And until you haven't really proven the next ones, you don't substitute them. So the R&D center really is going to be a place where we're going to be working with a lot of different companies as well to try out new levitation system, new proportion system okay. to make the next couple of steps. So, so is the next step setting up a test track then? for this pod or will it be more around the, the technology required to move this first? Yeah, so in Toulouse, we're gonna have a track. It's, okay. uh, I mean, it's, it's a prototype. We have yeah. done our tests in the past, but um, Toulouse is gonna have a full scale prototype where you can switch out uh, the proportional levitation track, for example, and you can really try things out. Mm -hmm. And we can open that up also to our network, which is an important part. Um, but it's, all, it's, it's really like a center of, uh, of excellence, if you want. So uh, Toulouse is in Europe, the aerospace valley, basically. So the network that you find of people, of talent, it's, it's super important for us. Um, is that test track and the testing of this pod likely to happen this year then? Um, yeah, I mean, so this is going to be a busy year. Yeah. You know, there's going to be it happen a lot. Okay. We're expecting to announce the first commercial track later this year as well. Wow. Where? Well, that would be then the announcement right here. Right? <laughs> well, I'll try to, try to get you in on that. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.